number three in my beginner series today. And I know I'm throwing in a lot of tutorials today for you guys. So I want to get them all up. So we're going to create a tab bar application called tabs. And I'm going to show you how to add um, more than a few tabs that they give you because they only give you a couple. So delete your second view first off. So first things first, we're going to drag in some bar button items. Just drag in like one, two, three, four. Just drag in, drag in six because I'm going to show you what it does. It's pretty cool. The second, we're just going to drag in a view. Third view, fourth view. I'm going to name these title, the third, oh wait, wrong place. Did it click it twice? Third. Fourth, keep it organized. Fifth and sixth. Okay, so for all these, we have to drag in views and the sixth view. Okay, so now we have all of our views and everything. We can X this out. We have to make a few files. We're going to go into um, Cocoa Touch class, UI View Controller, and we're going to call this. Um, second view controller we can just copy the view controller at the end okay I'm gonna create a new file call it third view controller and another file fourth view controller if I do that hold on one second Okay, guys, so sorry about that. I'm back now. Um, so after the third view controller, we're going to have to add another view controller. Um, a UI view controller subclass, and we're going to type in fourth, I think. I'm on fourth view controller. Oh, it already exists. My bad. We're going to create a fifth view controller. Oops. Fifth view controller. And I think we added six tabs, so we're going to add a six view controller. Okay, now all of our view controllers, we're going to have to go connect these. So we're going to open up our main view.xib. And in the second view, we're going to, right in here, we're going to type in second view. Or no, not that's the nib name. We're going to type in second view controller to give it its identity and connect it. Third view controller. Oops. Fourth view controller. And this is really important if you guys want to have outlets and like, connect to them. And this is going to be our sixth view controller. So now everything we have is all connected. We can launch the application, and I'll show you what it does. So we have six tabs, and this is the cool thing. It has more, and you can edit, and since it have icons, you can rearrange them how you want it. That's why I threw in six. It automatically puts it into a little table view. So our first view, and these are all of our views. So if um, I want to, to go into my fourth view controller and I were to add an IB outlet for a UI button and then I would go back to my main window and go in the, I think that was my fourth view controller, I can go in my fourth view controller and it will have the button class. So that's why connecting these is important because if I type that in under the first view controller dot H, it wouldn't have came up in the outlets. So that is my tutorial on how to add more tabs. Thank you for watching.